guiding you in all the areas. And can I tell you this? God's going to do something for you. If you're honest and sincere and seeking after God, God's going to open up what you should be doing. He's going to open up by way of revelation, direction for your lives, things you should be doing. Now, He's not going to do it apart from this. That's right. right. That's right. Anybody that says, well, well I, just, I just don't feel like I should have to do that or that doesn't apply to me is already speaking from darkness. That's right. And if they're not speaking from the Word, right. it's darkness. Yes. That's right. But there's something about this. Yes. There's something about this Word that is beyond just, just words on a page that I can open up yeah. or that you yeah. see behind me on the wall. This word is a light. Yeah. Right. And when we look back at creation and we look at, at the way that God's creation was, the Bible says that there was darkness upon the face of the deep and the place was void and it was in turmoil and it was in chaos and it was in darkness. And the Bible says that God looked on the darkness and he said, let there be light. Yes. Yeah. And can I tell you this? That in the turmoil and the darkness and the dimness of your life without yeah. the word of God, God wants to speak his word into your life. Yeah. He does it through preaching. He'll do it through revelation. When you open up and read it, he'll do it through others that will speak to you. But if they're not speaking from this, anybody that tells you that you do not need to be born again of water and the spirit is not speaking light into That's your right. life. Yeah. That's right. You're speak from this. And from this, you're going to find the light to be able to, to find him who the light is going to draw you to. Amen. Amen. So these three wise men came from a long distance away because of one thing. They saw light. Now, the Bible says that light was only a star. Now, now a star is not terribly bright. Right? It's just a little bit of light compared to the reflection of the sun from the moon or the sun that shines on us by daytime. You look up at the stars, and yeah, they're beautiful, and on a good night, you can see thousands of them across the sky that is open to us. They saw one star that was, was brighter or more predominant than the others, but it was still just a small little bit of light. That's all it was. And they followed They chose from where they were in the darkness that had incorporated their lives that they were going to follow the one little bit of light that had been revealed to them. Yeah. Amen. Woo. Let me tell you something. God's going to do something miraculous in your life. Amen. Right. It may be that in the darkness of your thoughts and your, your way of logicing things out and your way of figuring out your lives and trying to make your lives a little bit better, that you're going to you're going to try and direct yourself in an area that you think you should go in. But can I tell you something? If you will just pray before you open up the Word, if you will come to church with your heart ready to receive just a little bit of light, all it takes is just a thought, oh, God doesn't want this to be in my life. And it brings you to repentance. And you follow that rather than justify it. God's going to help you to find Jesus in the midst of that darkness. And so they followed him all this distance. They stopped and asked for directions along the way of somebody that wanted to, to do nothing but destroy their knowledge of Jesus Christ by destroying that child. And when they came, the Bible says they followed that star. And the star, I always wondered about this. Because all the time you just think, oh yeah, these are astrologers. They knew about the stars that a king had been born. But the Bible very specifically tells us that that star led them and it stopped yeah. at the place that it wanted to reveal the one who is going to change our lives. Yeah. Amen. Completely and utterly. Help us to be born again. Yes. Help us to be what he wants us to be. Take away the, yes. the habits and addictions of our lives. Deliver us from yes. those things. Deliver us from from the weaknesses that we so often see inside of us and bring us to a place of freedom that is alone and only in Him. Amen. Stand together, shall we? Just as the Word was revealed to those that, that in the Old Testament prophetically talked about Jesus' coming. And if you want to read the, the Bible from beginning to end, I'm going to ask you that you read it with, with this understanding. Everywhere in the Word of God, from the beginning of the book of Genesis all the way through to the end, it all points to Jesus Christ. one individual, the God that robed himself in human flesh and came down into Bethlehem over 2,000 years ago. 
He came in a place that was, was for animals and those that were not clean. Yeah, right. And that's where he was born. Yeah. He came and that light that was born on that day has given us the ability to do what Isaiah said. Those that were in darkness. Maybe originally only saw a little bit of light from God's word. They believed it, followed it. And it led them to that great light. Some things are a little difficult when you step into the light. Because you see all your imperfections. You can go into a bathroom where the mirror is set up, and, and if it's dark in there, you say, man, I look good today. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the light on, and you see every hair that's in the place, the bags under the eyes that, that I seem to have acquired with age. Turn the light on, Steve. Turn the light on. The unshaven face, yeah. and, you, and the light just reveals all of that. Just as the light of God's Word has been revealed to you to yourself. Can I tell you this? I know, that, I know that some of you think that you're not worthy and should not be worthy of the kingdom of God. God reveals those things into our lives so that we can say, Lord, I'm so sorry. Amen. For the way that I've been living, I want you to be yours. When we do that, He is faithful, just, forgive us our sins, cleanse us again from all unrighteousness, cast us back in right standing. What an awesome God we serve. Let's worship you together. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I love you and I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. Lord, as we stand before you, Jesus, coming up to this day that we celebrate your word, I know, Lord, as we stand in the light of your word and in your spirit, having worked in our lives, Jesus, God, there are things that we need to give to you on this day. Lord, I just pray right now, Lord, that, that everything in my life, in the lives of those that are standing before me, Jesus, will just give all of those to you. Lord, it says that those men that sought you out over 2,000 years ago, that when they saw the light, there was they rejoiced with such great joy. God, we want to have joy and peace during this Christmas season. Help us to see the light without fear. Know, Lord, that it's going to change our lives and bring us to that place of everlasting life. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Let's take a few moments and worship the Lord, shall we? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you.